welcome Mr. Barry Peatling to the Barry Peatling Sports Show. And welcome to you, Colin Sutcliffe, and all my viewers around the world and interstate. This is a very nice day in Chelsea. It's a very pleasant day, probably about 19 degrees, yeah. a little bit of wind, but pull okay. Up that, pull up with that quite easily. Now, before we get into the game... This is one of the, one of my very good uh, games I played a long time ago, the second semi-final in Horsham City Over. We played, uh, actually we played Horsham too, I think, not it? Here it is, uh, your underdogs unsettled the Demons. Who were the Demons? Horsham, that's right. Demons. Horsham Demons, and this is second semi-final at Warwick Nabeel, apparently. It's a draw, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, draw. And it says down here that you are Dino Might. So I got... Uh, 38 kicks, yeah, 11 marks. 11 marks. Three goals, five behinds, yeah, out of a score of 6 12. Yeah. And. Sportsman of the Week, yeah. Sportsman of the Week, of the week. And there's a, that's a photo of the. Uh, there you go, very slippery. I don't know why I got the photo because I haven't got the ball. Tom Parrish. Tommy Parrish. As a ballet dancer. He yeah, was giving away a few uh, punch ups over there. He could play that. So number 24 he was. Yeah, a little but bit of toe to toe. He eluded me there one of the many few times he eluded me, Tom. That, that, was, that was a pretty good. In 38 kicks, 11 marks. Normally you just fix him right up. Well, he didn't worry, but uh, <coughs> it was a, that was a draw up in the final. What we played at the replay. Yep. They beat us by two points. Fantastic. You got best on your hand? You did. BP. Yeah. Mm. Maybe you were more of an individual, individual brilliance type player than a team player. That's the question. No, mark. no, no. I, I, uh, well, I didn't, I didn't give too many handballs back in the day because mm. the only people that get handball back in the day you couldn't kick a drop kick. Yeah. And I was I used to love to live in nice little stab kicks and uh, I never handball much back in the days at all. All right, well that's a little bit from yeah, yesterday. Yeah, well, that is one of my very good uh, well, sports for the week for a game of football, Colin. <coughs> very good. Yeah. Chelsea versus Bomb Beach. Yeah. Weather and conditions, man. Weather was uh, pretty good. It was three goals, three or four goals. Played at the, 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 <coughs> the members' end, and yep. the ground was, as I said to you before, we come in here today. It looked very nice, and when you walk out in the ground, it's very, very, wouldn't be that good for me. I could Spongy. Like, I used to like bounce the ball. You could bounce the ball. Spongy. Yeah. No give. Oh, I hate a lot of give. But uh, overall, the ground, and it's got a scoreboard, still the same. Can't see it. Can't see it. Any changes, Barry? One change. I think that's only one change, but Travis Graham come back in. My man. Yeah. For, uh, TG. Stuart Brook, I was talking on Saturday. He could be back next week with a little lucky. His angle was a bit not too close, but that. Uh, you know, yeah, he travels strain, but, uh, but he got a bit of a whack on his knee again. He's, uh, the trouble is he gets injured too easy, Tom. Mm. He's got a lot of class, same play. A lot of class. Let's get into the game, first quarter. The first quarter was... Uh, mm. We started pretty good. Yeah. Bywaters was on fire. Up and about, up and Bywaters about. Bywaters was on fire in the first few minutes. He took a few marks, couldn't kick straight. Mm. He's kicked three points in the first quarter. But he started very well and... Uh, as I got here, playing very well, was kick, kicking off target. So, it, what was the quarter time score? Well, just mentioned here we go. McDonald was reasonably quiet. I saw that. Reasonably quiet in the first 10 minutes. He was, Didn't touch uh, it. And someone else was good, was tagging. They had two or three taggers on him for a start. But, because uh, that turned out, I'll say about it later. Mm. So, the uh, quarter time. Quarter time was. Uh, I didn't put the quarter time. Oh, I got 3 1 19 to 7 points. Yeah, that's right, 7 points. I got up here. We started kicking. I didn't, that's why I didn't mention the score. We only kicked 7 points. And they, well, they kicked 3 1, was it? 3 1 19. So they had a 2 goal lead at that stage. Half, half second, time. The second, uh, first second, second quarter. Second quarter. Second quarter. The man, number 7, started to take over. That was the end of the game, son. Yes, McDonald. He just took over. He, he kicked 5 and he's probably give away about three or four, I mean set up about another three or four goals and but that was in, nearly the end of the game at half time because they were two ten, we were two ten and they were seven six. Like right. t twelve shots to thirteen shots and we were four five, goals. Five, five goals uh, four goals behind, yeah, yeah. Four and a half goals behind. Then so he got into the second half, had a bit of a break. Yeah, bit of a break, bit of a bit of a talk and a bit of a chat and uh, I don't think they're, they're not they're just sort of a bit dysfunctional Chelsea mm. too, man, because they're not uh, there's only three or four players that sort of put in every week. There's mm -hmm. a few patients every week, on right. They know where they are. They don't have to be told about that. But anyway, the second half, this is Chris Bryant, number one for Bond Beach. Yep. Played for Collingham about two or three years ago. Yeah. He's six foot eight, and he was out marking. It was come up about 15 line. I think he kicked four goals. Yeah, he just got three there, but, but he just, it was taking a mark, and, and he, he was kicking goals from 65 metres out. He's an enormous kick, left footer. Wow, boom. I mean, when you got, I said to a couple of fellas in during the game, we've got to get 
it's not too late to get a six foot five player June. That's when they're uh, cut off. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can. We, we've got. Are they any floating around? Well, there's got to be one or two floating around. Cause every year, is, that's how we got that big fella Deluca about five years ago. We oh, got yeah. him halfway during the season. Right. And he, but Jason Clark and Corey Peel, they, they, they've given away about a foot, mm. not inches, foot. Mm. Yeah, because they were getting all the tap outs and just winning the ball at the centre. But so what the was the um, three-quarter time score? Well, I didn't put the three-quarter time score because I, I was blown I'm just a bit. Yeah, well, I give the top final score, but as I said, Chris Bryan was a big target for Von Beach because he's marking and, and our back when they were, they're just they're, I don't know. They're, they're, when it gets in the four line, they, they sort of tremble with with the ball. They just can't kick goals. It's, you got to you got to keep practicing every week for God's mm. sake. And, mm. and of course, McDonald took over the game after. After half time, setting up, kick five, setting up about three or four. Yeah. He is. Uh, Didn't he, make the best players according is, to the list here. He is. Donald, mm. yeah. He is a general. He's always been a general, but yeah. he's, he's. I mean, and I'll tell you about the interchange. He'd come off once in the last quarter, and he's 34. And we got to tell you about how we in the change yeah. later. Yep. But, uh, but we did kick four goals in the last quarter, same as uh, Bon Beach. But the yeah. game was over. So. Tell us the final score then. The final score, Chelsea kicked 10 goals 11, which mm -hmm. is reasonable for them. 71. To 16, 12. 108. So a 37 point defeat. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the scoreboard doesn't say that, that they had control of the whole game, all day. Mm. So they never looked like getting in the game. An easy one. So let's talk about the goal kickers, Barry. Goal kickers, James Brogue played all right too. Three goals. Yep. He's on the ball, had a bit, bit of a roll on the ball. Oh, he's got to get on, get in the action. Colin. He was playing full forward the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. He wasn't getting in the action. Get into the action. Matt, Matty Baxter, three goals. Yep. I'll tell you about some, some about Matty, Matty Baxter later. But yep. Bywater's two, but he kicked about two six. And Troy Coney, Trip Coney, yep. one. And Benny Finnemore, one. one. He, he played a lot, Benny Finnemore. Give us your group of best players, Barry. The group of best players. It's a bit hard <coughs> to pick after about three of them, but... Uh, mm. Matty Baxter... Uh, James Brain, uh, Brad Clark, mm -hmm. Tony Gardner, Trip Coney, Bywaters in the first half, and that's about all, Colin. Okay, so that's Daniel, that well, Daniel Arsman, Daniel he, Arsman. he played all right. And of course, Travis Strain <laughs> played right, but he, he went out to go off again. Um, okay, well, votes then. The votes, one, one vote. One vote to Tony Gardner. Tony Gardner, he, one he, vote. Had a brilliant last quarter, come good in the last quarter. Sort of Leave quick. a quiet day. For him, I want you to yeah. about 24, 25 per second. Mm. But, uh, two votes. Two votes to Matty Baxter. Three goals and... God, I can't say tell you about him later. And three votes. Three votes to James Brain, who... Uh, what's his best game for the season? The Brain Master. The one from Shippen, the from mm. Shippen. Mm. Very good. So he's... Uh, well, it's good to see him kicking goals. I mean, he hasn't been kicking too many goals lately. And that's what he's there for, kick goals. I've got these glasses on for him. Very good. Very good. Well, give us your highlights, Barry, well, and the interchange. Well, only, well, yeah, well. I'll tell you, I thought about the interchange. Isn't it? There's only one, but Matty Baxter's marking con. I, I stood alongside him in the, in the room for three quarter time, at half time. Yeah. He's not taller than I thought he was, but he took, I reckon, at least five or six marks, yeah. pack marks. Yeah. He, and he's he's given away three or four. He's, he's, but he's letting himself down. He's kicking it. He's generally been pretty good early in the season, but he's kicked when he kicked three goals. Yeah. Three goals, five, I reckon. He's kicked. Wow. But he took about, I reckon he took about six or seven marks in the packs. So he's looking good. He, he just got to finish it up, but apparently he's going away next year. Hmm, that's no good. Can't he's leaving himself someone, I don't know. Oh, well, you might better persuade know. him. Oh, any other highlights? Oh, yes, of course, Mr. Number Number Seven, McDonald. His game was unreal. I mean, I, I thought we had him covered in the first quarter, about 10 or 15 minutes. I was hello, but he got caught once. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I've seen him caught with the ball. Got a free kick against him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, then after the first quarter, it just uh, some of the deliveries he gives to the full forwards. Oh, it's a bit like Barry Pitney, I tell you. But I was stabbed past here with the rock. But uh, Mark, they, they can't. They they try to get him. Try to tag him. And another thing that who do you think they were trying to put? They put on tagging him for a couple, two two of our players. Can you believe it, Toddy Gardner? Well, that's a bit and of then, a waste of resources. Oh, that's, you took the words out of him. Yeah. Toddy Gardner and Brad Clark. Waste of I mean, if you're going to tag somebody, tag someone <laughs> with someone that's not as brilliant as that, wasting his talent. Yes. But Brett, you've got to do something about, uh, think about what... Come on, we're starting to talk about the coach well, now. Well, well, both and David Will. I mean, David Will should be 
You don't put your best player on, on a, a ta be a tagger, for God's sake. No. Um, interchange, Barry. Yeah, well, I said to you when you first come to the front door today, I cannot believe it, the last few weeks, four or five minutes, Scotty comes off, Brad Clark comes off, hmm. and I was talking to Brad Clark uh, after the game, and he's pissed off, I can tell you, though. I mean, you train six through four months a year, and you train every week. And you, you don't come off after four minutes of the game, Colin. Oh, it's a bit crazy, isn't it? It's not crazy, it's stupid. I mean, what do you what do you play football? Get fit. They're trying to play the, um, the AFL. They're way. watching too much of the AFL stuff. Mm. But I know Brad Clark's not very happy, I can tell you now. And neither's Toddy Gart. I mean, you, that's your captain, Colin. Well, you, well you, got you a, don't tell me. Tell the message to the club. Well, Toddy's got a... Well... You don't like it. Give your message. Like talk to the club. Well, I'll talk to the club. No, you're talking to the club now. Well, I'm. Well, there well, we go. Blame Brett, uh, Brett watches this. Eyeball this. Eyeball it. I mean, he's a he's a captain, for God's sake. I mean, that's yeah, the last. So your message is. Let, let him play his own game and let him on. Let him stay on the ground when he. They're not tired when they come off. I've, I stand next to the, the coach's box yeah. every week. Yeah. And you. Like, in the change of in their face. Why am the, I going off? Come in and have a bit of a smoke. I mean, it's getting past the joke, I mean, yeah. and you don't take their good, like McDonald, mm. with your good player, your best player. Mm. You get some fellow <laughs> down, down the track of it. Oh, there we go. So there's, um, Rick, you got a, there's a message well, to well, the... David um, Willis, they both, they're, both, they're both coaching. I mean, David Willis, he's got some brains, for God's sake. Message to the coaching... And, uh, getting, he's still ringing. He's been desperate. Anyway. But anyway... Just, anyway, so let's talk what, about the Declan interview. Get onto the deck. Yes, yeah, so I, I went down and watched him play yesterday. Uh, they played the Chelsea Quiddy Ground. Yeah. And, uh, he, he only got about six or eight possession, but he uh, was a bit far away from the camera. Well, I got a little bit of footage there, but that, but I interviewed him before the game. So be, you'll be able to see, because I've done the other, other interview with. Uh, what was I talking about? Uh, oh, for Chelsea Footy Club. Yeah. I've got a bit of footage there, but I didn't. Uh, Declan's interview will be coming on straight after the video and after the uh, Chelsea video. Yeah, something to look forward to. You've got a pretty smart, it's pretty smart outfits, I tell you now, it's a killer. Yeah. And they all got the flash boots, or Declan's got the flash boots. So Declan will be watching this. There we go, on. so that'll be, next, that'll be soon. That'll be soon, yeah. Uh, next week, Barry. Next week is the uh, Interleague Inter game. Uh, you're watching, if you're watching this, Nate, send a message and tell me where the games play because he'll know. Yeah. You know. I looked in the paper. We looked in the record before he came in. It didn't say where it was played. It, was, it looks like it could be the home MPL first. So it could be the ground. Couldn't it could it? be the Frankston ground. Yeah. Frankston was Frankston uh, Park. So Snake, if, if you're watching this, send me a thing on, on the Facebook and uh, send him a thing. So I want to go and have a look at it. Yeah, that'd be good. And you so you can report on it. Now, um, what about Richmond Barry? Well, I, I've never been. I, I got very excited when uh, Chelsea won a couple of weeks ago. I reckon this is the most excited I've ever been because that game I, I watched the last half. I, no one was expecting <coughs> them to win. They, they were six to one, Richmond. Yeah. I didn't have Zach on. And they were five points down. Five points down with five seconds to go. And it, Sammy Lloyd takes a mark, takes a pass off. So See I'd, you later. About fifty yards out. What do you think he does? Kicks it straight through the middle, mate. Yeah. And everybody, the whole ground went mad. And I went crazy. I took me half an hour to settle down. It's the most exciting I've been for. I mean, that was a 50 metre goal, Colin. The bell's yeah. gone. The bell's gone. Siren went. And they're all running around. And next thing, it went, it went right straight through the middle. Right to the hated little middle. You seen it, didn't you? I saw it. Sammy Lloyd, I met him. Well done. I met him when he played for uh, Mount Eliza. Well done. Just earned your spot then, buddy. I mean, he's, he's a, he's probably the best, it would be the best fellow to have the ball after the time And then they all game. erupted into ecstasy and, and five now, points down one by the big one. Now the, the big the winning streak's going to start now. Winning streak. Hopefully. The Carlton winning streak. Carlton-esque. Well, Carlton, they're going right, They won they? four games in a row. They haven't done that for about five years. Yeah. And we've won, longer. We, we've won one in a row at the moment. One in a row, it's not bad. Well, it's better to lose, isn't it? But yeah. no, no, Sammy Lloyd, you're a superstar, and he'll uh, he'll never forget as long as he's got two legs. So cheerios, Barry. Yeah, cheerios. <coughs> uh, Maria, I don't know what's happening. with Annie, she's giving me a flick on the oh. whatever. Hello. Okay. Right. Maria, Nicole, they watch it, and, and uh, they watch it every week. 
And PA says and rang me up, what are you doing PA? Hey, let me know what's going on. Hope you're alright, because uh, I rang him up last week and left on this. Yeah. So he, he, he might be staying at Sandy's place. Okay. That's what it, because they, they, they swap over. And yeah, sure. Anyway, I hope you get, hope everything's, everything's going alright, PA, Sandy and Carl, Carlos will be looking after you, or they'll be looking, Sandy will be looking after him too. Mm. She's a good girl. But anyway, try and give me a ring, because let me know how you're going, how you're getting on, and if you're, uh, everything's, I think it might be working out, right, Jerry? Yeah, maybe. But, uh, well, that's about all oh, we got for today, Colin Chapter. So that's goodbye from me. And goodbye from me, we'll see you all next week. Any guys in the middle? You, you and Trip are just straight swap, so yeah. who's the other rotation? Yeah, Bowie. Who? What number is the guy that normally oh, comes? K28. Hey? K28, yeah. good. So that means Tripper, Tripper uh, um, will go with Casey. Oh, yeah. yep. Toddy Gardner, Jack Francis and Daniel Arsman in a rotation, Matty Gardner and Ben Finneymore. Okay. <coughs> Midfielders that I, I reckon we're still getting beaten in there, but Matty Gardner been really good. Yeah. Yeah. Curtis, Peely, Daniel Arsman, Franny, Matty Baxter, Jack Francis. Jack and Ben Finneymore, keep your rotation and Nolsey, you'll go through the go through that wing area. Alright? <coughs> nice and tight now. Come on. Come on. Right, so it's one of those games that it could go, it could go either way. Now we could go, oh well, we'll just roll over and get a get a terrible result, or we just get a little bit of momentum and we start to test them a little bit, and they'll start to panic. So early in the game, early in this quarter, just get into that mode where we're just going to win contested possession, win contested possession. When we get it in forward, then we start to take the risks. Okay, but nice and early, just win that contested possession and stay in the game. You've got to roll the dice here, Brad. You've got to actually just crack Macca, okay? You've just got to ha hound him, hound him, hound him. And then when you, when we get forward, if you can run off, let's run him, okay? Let's you've got to it. actually finish a game of footy here, bud. If on. you roll over, that's just not going to be our ground, is it, okay? No, I reckon if you should be thinking about maybe we can win this. Oh, we, we, we did this against Pines, didn't we? we were oh, yeah, good. Come on. Yeah? Right. So, now we find out if you really want to win, but don't get sooky and go, oh, I'll just hold off or take risks. Just hold in the contest, hold in the contest until we get in our forward line and then let's make the most Come on, of it. On, really boys. bust your ass. football ground. So Declan's, uh, who's the side you're playing, Declan? Devon Meadows. No, this is, you're Devon Meadows, aren't you? Yeah. Who are you playing today? Chelsea. You think you might win today? No. Why not? Because they're good teams. Have you played them before yet or not? No. Danielle, come over here. Here's Declan's mother here. She's the next footballer too from South Australia. Go Panthers! Go Panthers! Yay. So what do you think Danielle? How are you going to go today? Yeah, pretty good. You reckon? Yeah. What, Not what, too bad. what about what? We've had a week off see, so... How many games have you played this year Declan? Four or five. Five? five. You got best on the ground three times haven't you? No. Yeah, I think you have. You've got kicked a few goals. Kochi. His nickname's Cochin. Uh, yeah, that's right, they call him Koch after Trent Cochin, but he's not going too flash at the moment, Trent Cochin. No. He's, he's been quite... No, he's out injured, isn't he? He's got the new haircut. Now, I'll tell you what about the haircut, the, all the viewers Whoa. all the, all the viewers around the world are watching wow. you, Declan, now. Now, this is a turn your head on the side, pretty smart haircut, then. Do you do that, Danielle, of course. Of course I do. Yeah. Aiden, come around here, mate, come on. Where is he? Where's okay, it? I've got to go now. I've got to go to the club room. Right, uh, go Panthers. All, all the best, Declan, okay? Go Panthers. See you, mate. Jetty a full back wall, he knocked in the other pocket. Miguel, back flank. Jockey's still half back. Josh, you're in the other flank. Right, push the other flank, Josh, boy. In the middle, Jamie, little Will. Jack, and Blakey. Are we allowed to go into the forward? I told you not to go on the forward line, would you go? Probably, yeah. <laughs> No, I don't want to. But let's think about you two boys, Jamie and Jack. Well, you're in the centre. Well, you're in the centre. 
the old one. Let's have a look down at four wide and give them a go. Riley Allen Brand is on the other wing of coach. Sammy Sproke, half forward flank. Dude, you're on your big centre half forward. Woodsy are on the other flank. Kobe, James, the full forward. Tyler on the other pocket. Whoop. Rest Bo, Jackson, Oz, Matty, Lucas, Taylor, and Dobbo with Lee. Right, let's go, let's get into it. Back in the He's not, just took a bit of a mark on the gut. Guys, run! Go, go, run! 